Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to try the Coleman Camp Stove Toaster. All right, thanks for joining me today. Now, I understand toast is probably the least of your worries in a natural disaster or <laughs> emergency or whatever. Um, but I've seen this item at, at uh, Walmart for, God, years now. And I always thought, ah, there's easier ways to make toast. And there probably is. But it was kind of a cool item. And I thought I'd bring it to you and see if it actually works. Um, I've had this particular one for years. And I've never used it. So we're going to try it out for a first time here. Because, again, that's some of the point of my channel. To get and actually use my gear for stuff and try it out. As well as bring it to you guys and have you look at it too. So it runs about five bucks. You could probably make this yourself. But it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself, what's your time worth? You know, you could probably get a stove cover, drill the holes, put the wire up there, and make it. But it would probably take you an hour, and you could spend five bucks and have something like that right here. This is the package it comes in. It does fold flat, although I haven't quite figured out the correct way to do it. I think it's something like that, and this piece goes under. So it's a fairly simple thing to put together. Everything just kind of snaps in place, or snaps out of place in my case. <laughs> There we go. We're going to do it this way. This is how it comes actually, all apart. So, you want to put one over and one under. So this one's going over. Get in the hole. This is the kind of stuff that only happens when you're on video. <laughs> Alright. That's over. And that piece goes there. And then this one goes under. Now, I don't know if this is the perfect way to do it. This is just the way I've seen others do it. Um, there are no instructions on the box other than what kind of looks like sort of what it's supposed to look like. And I do notice one over and one under in that picture. So anyway, there you go. It's all set up. The idea is to put this on a camp grill, put your toast flat on the sides, and let it toast. So we're going to bring up the camp grill, and uh, we're going to give it a try. All right, so I got this burner over here going. I'm using this burner because on most of these propane stoves, I always find this is the lower burner. It's not as harsh as the other one. Um, I guess that's because the gas has longer to travel. Anyway, I'm going to put it on a fairly low. And what I'm going to do, and I do this with all metallic cook-type items, is I kind of burn them in a little bit. So I'm going to let this heat up for a few minutes and see if there's any, because uh, I already see stuff coming off it, fumes and smoke or whatever. So I'm going to let this heat up for a few minutes, try it out, see, you know, whatever comes off it, and then we'll put our toast on there. All right, it seems to be okay. There were a few little puffs of smoke or whatever on there. We're going to stick the toast on now and see how this works. It's fairly simple to do. I'm making four pieces because I was just going to make two, and then my wife's like, you're making toast? <laughs> so I'm going to make her some too. So we're going to come back in a few minutes, and I'll show you what it looks like as it works. Um, all in all, I think it's a pretty neat idea, you know, for a camp or a bug out location. Um, definitely not a, a backpack item or something you'd carry in your in your uh, bug out bag. It's definitely more of a uh, fixed location type thing. I mean, it does fold down, it is light, but it takes up space, and it's not really a priority. You could always make yourself some bannock bread if you're out on the trail, or you could just stick a piece of toast in a pan and toast it that way. Anyway, I'll bring you back once I start seeing some results, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm starting to see some results here. Take a look at that. It's working, so I'm going to flip those pieces. Got a little toasted uh, outside there. I'm going to flip them over. And don't forget, too, if you like it better toasted on the top, like with this one, you see it's really it's toasted well on the bottom but not on the top. You could always flip it over like that. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just going to try and do the whole thing just one time on each side and see how it comes out. All right, it looks like it's done pretty much. So in less than about three minutes, I got myself some toast. A little butter on it. And there you go. I didn't let the butter melt enough. <laughs> uh... Although it is certainly hot enough out here, I'm surprised it didn't melt. But anyway, you get the idea. So in less than a few minutes, you got yourself some nice toast. That side came out a little darker because I flipped it. 
and it seems to work pretty well. So it's great for, say, a, a camp location or for camping out, car camping or something. Maybe you've got something like that at a bug out location in your camp kitchen. That would be awesome. Um, simple, easy solution to a problem. Uh, again, too, if you want to toast bread, you can always just throw it in a pan with a little bit of butter and it'll be just as toasted. But uh, it is kind of a neat project. It's something that I, a neat product, I should say. Something I've seen for years and purchased one, never tested it out. So, tested it out today, and it turns out it makes some pretty darn good toast. Anyway, that is the video. Thank you for watching. I do have some interesting news for you guys. Um, I'm going to probably, most likely, be on a local radio show. And I will let you know when that comes closer so you can listen in. It is streamed live on the web, so I will let you know when that uh, approaches. Don't forget to check out our links down below for our Amazon store. You can shop anything you want. You don't have to buy what's in the store. Just click the link, buy what you normally buy, and uh, you'd be amazed at some of the cool stuff that I have in the store too as well. But you don't have to shop there. You can buy whatever you want. Uh, helps out the channel a little bit. Helps us bring you more gear. Um, also too, don't forget to click, if you click see more on the bottom there, you'll see our Thrive Life link. Um, if you're interested in getting some freeze-dried food, there's nothing to join. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can just go there and order. You can sign up for delivery or to become a distributor if you want, but you can also just go and do it for yourself and buy yourself some freeze-dried food. If you are a previous customer right now, Thrive Life has a refer a friend program. If you're an existing customer, you can refer a friend. Um, you log into your account. You'll, get a, you'll click on the refer a friend link. You'll be able to give that person that link and they will be able to shop. You'll receive, your friend will receive 20% off on their first order, and you'll receive a 10% credit for free food from their order. So if they order $200 worth of stuff, you get $20 in free food. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.